Hello everyone, welcome to what if Issei awakened his sacred gear in childhood and become the strongest part 1. Before we start please go support Ryujin99 for writing that awesome fanfic, now let's begin. This is the translated version I made. There will be some wrong he or she calling here because it's translated so let me clear this Issei is a male in this story. Introduction. We start. Are you sure about this? Drake asks me seriously. It is better that they know it now from me than from someone else, and that it puts them in danger. The Brad is right, it's better this way, I say this from experience, Belzard says with melancholy in his voice. My name is Haidu Issei, wielder of the Longinus, boosted gear. In it lives one of the celestial dragons, Drake. The Red Emperor Dragon or Sekir Yuite. Four years ago, when I was ten, by pure luck I awakened my sacred gear while playing Goku, the moment was quite funny. Drake explained to me everything related to the supernatural and the dangers he has. I also introduce myself to the two strongest bearers of time and gender. Elsha and Belzard. When the presentations were over, Drake told me to start training so he could protect my parents and me. I accepted the training and with the help of Belzard in the physical and Elsha in the metal, I was able to control my own being well, and with Drake, I learned to control his power. I spent four years training with them three until today where I am going to tell my parents the truth of the world. I called my parents into the living room to tell them everything, I prefer them to know everything than to be worried, because I go out a lot and stuff like that. What's happening? My mother says curiously. Well. There's something you need to know, I said, thinking about how to tell them. Did you get someone pregnant? Says my father. No where did you get that from? I said surprised. It was a possibility says my father nonchalantly. Tell them directly says Drake. Mom, Dad. Do you believe in the supernatural? I said seriously. You mean gods and stuff? Says my mom. Yes, all that is real, I said again. I told you it was strange, we should take the comics out of him and send him to a psychologist, says my father and my mother nods. How they love their son. Says Elsha laughing. I'm not crazy. Well. Not as crazy as I think I said remembering the crazy people who talk in my head. Hey I heard a massive cry in my head. Here I go I said and proceeded to tell him everything that Drake told me. I spent the last two hours telling everything about the supernatural and what I've done so far. It's hard to believe, says my father. Look I said, the boosted gear appeared, and they were surprised. I it's true says my mother surprised. Yes, there are a lot of people in here, but the one that stands out is a red lizard I said with a poker face. Hello parents of my carrier. I am Drake, the Red Emperor Dragon says Drake introducing himself. The pleasure, Drake Sama say my parents. Hmm, finally someone who respects me says Drake. Don't boost his ego, I said, smiling. So everything is true. And you are someone important in this world by having Drake Sama says my mother. Oh dear our son has a future says my father. I could get a woman to give us many grandchildren says my mother, playing along with my father. Being my bear will attract many women, and in the supernatural, polygamy is not frowned upon says Drake amusingly. Did you hear dear? Our son can have more wives, and that means more grandchildren, says my mother, happier. Where was the surprise of the supernatural? Doesn't it scare you? I said curiously. Son. We have already fulfilled our lives and you are the result, the only thing we need is to pamper our future grandchildren and see how they grow, says my mother, smiling. Where is the concern for me? That's it, son. Look for many women and have many children so you can pamper them, says my father, hugging my mother. What carefree parents I am here nervous about the issue and you are worried about your grandchildren. The ha 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 I heard a lot of laughter in my head. Well. You know, I'm going to be traveling around the world while I gain experience I said normally. Okay, take care of yourself and get girlfriends so I can have my grandchildren my mother says, and my father nods. What carefree parents I have. Your parents really love you very much, Alsha says laughing. Do not disturb. Come on brat, you already have your parents' permission, now let's start the training trip Belzer tells me. Okay. We leave tonight. Cut. These Issa parents are terrible ha ha ha. Chapter 1. Something curious, I close my eyes to enter mental space. I appeared in a completely white place, the only thing there was tables where the previous Ekaryuite are looking at me calmly, and Elsha next to Belzard standing looking at me. What's happening? I said curiously. The. Time. Has come. To rest says Belzard with difficulty. It's time. I said sadly. I knew this moment would come, but I still don't like it. There is nothing to do now, you knew this moment would come. I will also leave in my own time, says Elsha sadly. I know. But I still don't like it I said looking away. Brat. I'm. Proud of you, you're the one. Who removed the curse of the juggernaut. It's time. For me to have. My rest Belzard says weakly. It was a pleasure meeting you Belzard says Elsha, shedding a few tears as we see how Belzard began to disappear. I hope you continue to watch how I continue to surpass you, I said smiling slightly. Deep training Brad, Belzard says as his last words and disappears. 
silly teacher. I said crying and Alsha hugs me. It was inevitable, he was the oldest here Alsha tells me. I know. I said wiping my tears. Stop crying Brad, we're still here, says one of the previous bears. Hey, we only woke up a short time and we spent a lot of time trying to tempt him to die, says a woman hitting the one who spoke first. Don't worry. I didn't forget about you, I said, smiling slightly. He's already gone. Drake says that I didn't see when he arrived. Yes. I said looking at where Belzard was. Now he will rest in peace as Drake. It had already been three years since I started my training journey to gain experience. Many things happened along the way. I met good and bad people, half of them tried to kill me. But not everything was bad. Now I returned to Kuo on the bullet train. I could go in a magic circle, but I don't want to draw attention to myself. What would you do if they want to recruit you? I will refuse. You know I don't like following orders, mm? just as proud as Belzard, he was the one who trained me and if we talk about pride. Yours is through the roof. During this time I changed a lot, now I have short hair and I am quite tall, I have a well working body, nothing outstanding. As for my power. I can use the balance breaker as many times as I want, and by convincing the previous wielders I can use the juggernaut drive, but with a high consumption of power and resistance, I can only use it for 20 seconds without losing control and not having it consume my life. I'm working to change that, a growth different from the juggernaut, although I still don't know how. In these three years I have not found any signs of Hacker Yuku, I know it is active, but I have not found it yet. I don't care, I just want to live in peace and from time to time fight with strong beings. I enjoy battles, but I'm not an addicted maniac. One hour left to arrive. I'll sleep a little. One hour later. Kuo City. He was walking through the streets of Kuo. Everything remains the same. You were only gone three years, but for me it was a lot. Not do you feel those auras? Fallen. That's new. I walked for a while longer until I got home. I knocked on the door and waited a while. Yes. Says a man opening the door, it was my father. Hello dad I said greeting and he was surprised, came out and hugged me. The same my boy he says separating from the hug. Did I miss you, mom? I said, entering next to him. She's in the living room, he says, smiling. Who was dear? I heard my mother's voice. It was a say, I told him to leave says my father jokingly. What he says, getting up quickly. Hello mom I said entering the living room and she comes running and hugs me. My baby look how much you grew in these 3 years, 6 days, 14 hours, 20 minutes and 18 seconds says my mother, looking at me from all possible angles. Do I count time exactly? I'm done being surprised by what your parents do says Drake, sighing. It shows that she loves you very much says Elsha. And your girlfriend? Have you already gotten her pregnant? Yes, is she a boy or a girl? My mother says excitedly. Many questions I shouted. Tell me everything says my mother, sitting me down on the couch. Here we go, an explanation later. Ah what a shame you didn't bring a girlfriend says my mother, sighing. Of everything I told you, only that matters to you. By the way, lately there have been a lot of deaths all over Kuo, you told me to tell you if something happens here, it started three weeks ago says my father. When I arrived a while ago, you can feel the auras of fallen people, when I left they weren't there. I think they have something to do with it I said seriously. There is something else. The dead that were found had something in common says my father again. What? I said curiously. They all had a hole in their chest or stomach and burns on the holes, says my father. Light spears. I'll investigate this. Now, I brought a friend to take care of them in case something happens if I'm not there I said, and a mouse comes out of my pocket. I and my mother shouts, getting on the couch. Do the mouse greets my parents. This is Tichmeru, he is something like my relative, but he is a friend who was entrusted with his safety, I said introducing him and he bows. And as a ra. I mean, how will Tichmeru protect us? My mother says nervously. Although he may not look like it, he is very strong and intelligent I said, and Tichmeru takes out a miniature Kadachi, and in one quick movement cuts the table easily. Ju says Tichmeru with his eyes shining. You pass the test says my father with his eyes open. Ju Chu Tichmeru nods and puts the Kadachi away from him. He and his henchmen will protect the house I said and Tichmeru nods. We are in your care my parents say in a bow. Now, who wants memories I said smiling. The next day, they say get up to go to school, I heard him say when I woke up. School. What's that? Is it eaten? I haven't gone to sign up yet I shouted so my mom could hear. I signed you up yesterday says my mother. At what time? In the closet is your uniform. I enrolled you in the Kuo Academy my mother shouts again. Kuo? Wasn't it just for girls? Lots of noise says Drake, just waking up. Drake my mother enrolled me in an academy. What's that? Is it eaten? It is a place of torture. You have the power to destroy this entire city. You can with an academy. I would do it, but my mother would kill me. I got up, went to shower and brush my teeth. I leave now with a uniform that was very tight on me. Mom these clothes are very tight I said already in the dining room. Better this way. 
You'll attract more girls, says my mother, smiling, and my father gives me a thumbs up. And hit that. You should get someone, says Dryag. I prefer to be like this. Do I hear and see Tichkmeru giving him a thumbs up? Ah, what a family I have. I said and sat down to have breakfast. After breakfast, I said goodbye to my parents and Tichkmeru. I begin my path to the academy. Walk for a while until you reach the happy academy. Many girls. And demons. There are more than 10 demons. I won't count more because it bores me. Even for that you're lazy. Wake me up if something interesting happens. Ungrateful. Here I go I said into the air and entered the academy. Excuse me. Do you know where the second C class is? I asked a girl who was passing by. Why yes, follow me, says the pink haired girl. I followed her for a while until I reached a living room. It's here says the girl. Thank you I said normally, and she quickly enters the room. And what's wrong with this one? I entered the living room and all eyes fell on me. Are you Haidu Issei? Asks the teacher. Yes I said simply. I'm the history teacher. He's a new classmate, says the teacher. Hello, my name is Haidu Issei I said calmly. Take a seat says the teacher, and I go to the only seat that was in the center of the front row. Three years without touching a piece of paper and a pen. I hope it goes well. Episode 2. It's been two weeks since I returned to Kuo. At that time I was able to verify who the demons were in this academic. The occult club with its four members are demons. The student council are also demons. I also feel magical energies but nothing outstanding. As for the fallen, they are in the abandoned church. I'm waiting for them to make another move so I have evidence in case Grigori's leader decides to complain. You should go and kill them all says Drake. Not everything is resolved with violence says Elsha. I can't just do it like that. It would draw the attention of demons and I don't want them to be screwing up my existence. You're right about that. Now I find myself watching the CIO group fighting with a renegade. That Rhea's Gremory has her guard very down. Will you help her? She asked for it for walking with that pride on the battlefield. They say. Elsha says seriously. Good. The arm that the demon swordsman cut off begins to move with the intention of killing the Gremory. When the arm was about to hit the Gremory, I made a protective shield appear around her. Rhea's butcho the swordsman shouts, cutting the spleen and stops protecting the Gremory. You take away the fun Elsha. She can be a potential partner for Ice Elsha says amusingly. Do not disturb. After that internal talk I return home. My mom will kill me for being late. Then Pavise. Start Pavrias. Are you okay Rias? Akeno asks me worried. Yes. Thank you for the shield Akeno I said gratefully. I didn't do anything. Says Akeno. Then who? I said confused. The moment the shield appeared, I could feel another aura here, but it's gone says Kaneko. I have to tell Sona. Then Pavrias. Start Pavise. It's been one week since she helped that demon. Now I'm shopping with Tichkmeru who was wearing a camouflage spell so that normal humans wouldn't see him. Ah how boring I said into the air. Ju Tichkmeru just nodded as he ate the cheese from him. Even if you deny it. Your nature needs action, fighting, satisfying the desire for a good battle Drake tells me. Wouldn't that have to happen to me if I'm a dragon? You are 40% and counting. That's because of the use of the boosted gear. It is always so. So far no one has reached 100%, it will be interesting to see a humanoid dragon. Don't say it like that, I feel like a weirdo. Futichmeru takes me out of the conversation, I look at him, and he is pointing to a girl who looks like my age who looked curious at Tichmeru. A secret gear? Or a magic user? What? I said looking at the blonde who was surprised. You have a mouse on your shoulder, she says, pointing at Tichmeru. And? I said again. Then nothing she says shyly and I felt a familiar sensation. The barrier says drag. Looking around I see that there was no one, only the blonde girl who was nervous, Tichmeru and me. Ju Tichmeru points to the sky as he takes out his kadachi. When I look I see a exhibitionist. What's up with that outfit? Here you were Asia. And with a dirty human says the woman and now I realize that she has fallen wings. You happen to look at her body, it's impossible not to do it. She has raging hormones says Elsha. This is Rainer. Let this innocent boy go says the now Asia. I can't do it, he already saw me, and it's dangerous for him to know, says the now Rainer, creating a spear of light. Erase his memory, but don't kill him Asia says in front of me. He protects me without even knowing me. He is very stupid and innocent. Move Asia says Rainer would be. Excuse me. I have to get there quickly or my mom will be angry, I said calmly. Don't you dare say something, insect. You are facing a superior being says Rainer with disdain. You hold this for me, I said, giving the bags to Asia, who accepted them confused. You, the exhibitionist, called me an insect. I said seriously. Are you talking to my insect? Rainer says without enthusiasm. The tall I heard Drag and my senpai say. With great pleasure. Using my speed, I appear in front of Rainer and grab her by the neck. H huh? She could only say that as she was surprised by my movement. He dies. I said breaking her neck, dying with a surprised expression. We both fell to the ground, she threw Rainer and returned to the blonde. 
give me my bags I said calmly. She surprisingly gives them to me, and I start walking home since the barrier fell when I killed Rainer. How annoying, I thought to finally get away from there. That same night, what will be happening there? I thought when I felt auras of fallen people and demons in the church. Why don't you go and take a look? Drake says curiously. How lazy to move, then I'm the lazy one, let them fix themselves, I told him and went to sleep. The next day, my name is Asia Argento says the blonde from yesterday introducing herself to the class. I thought she was gone. This works against me, she has a demonic aura. Asia walks past me with a surprised expression, I just ignore her, and she continues to her place. My anonymity is over. It was time, she's still sleeping, you don't need to tell me, lazy dragon. After class, classes had already ended, now I was packing my things to go home. What will mom make for dinner? Aya is the prince I heard the girls in the classroom shout. Is hi do you say? I heard him say, and when I turned my gaze a little I saw a boy my age, blonde and blue eyes, a demonic aura and an innocent smile. Is that you? He says looking at me. He just left I said leaving the room. Mr. Issa I heard him say and when I turned I saw Asia. I don't know you, stalker, I said, returning to my path. Hi do can I listened again, and when I turned again I saw Sana Shatori with the entire student council, and Ria's Gremory with the rest of her club. And what about these? You could come with us as Sana seriously. No, I said, returning to my path. It's an order from the student council president says a blonde with grey eyes angrily. It's not like he was my boss, I said, still walking. I left the academy with all the demons following me to the exit. How annoying. I walked to Kuo Park even with all of them following me. Give them a heads up, but don't kill them, says Elsha. You're so boring. Upon arriving at the park, I raise an anti-human barrier and turn to look at them seriously. Don't bother demons I said seriously, and everyone except Asia, Rias and Sauna put themselves on guard. So you know. Says Sauna seriously. So what? That doesn't mean they're bothering me, I said again. Don't talk like that, human says the blonde with grey eyes. From the way you talk, I suppose you were previously human. I said and he remained silent. I don't want you to bother me, go on with your life and I with mine I said with the intention of leaving, but a barrier of swords appears behind me. He looked at the group of demons, and the blonde swordsman had his hand on the ground. Sacred gear. We can't let you go, you're a threat says the redeed, smiling with confidence. Threat. And who decided it? The girl who almost died a week ago because of a simple renegade. I said smiling and she was surprised. It was you. Says the redeed seriously. I could have let him kill you, but I saved you on a whim I said normally, and the blue-eyed blonde created a sword and launched himself at me. Don't bother I said, catching his sword and hitting his chest with a kick that sent him flying with the others. The Udo Kun shouts a black-haired woman with glasses with an aginata. Bam shouts the grey-eyed blonde, throwing a blue rope that I catch with my left hand, and he smiles. My power. It's a fragment of Vritra says Drake. Absorb power. I said normally. I take the rope and attract the blonde who can't do anything against my strength. When he comes to me I receive him with a punch that sends him to the world of dreams. Arara. A rebellious boy says the black-haired girl. It seems familiar to me. The black-haired girl throws lightning at me, but a barrier protects me. Jutichmeru arrived on the scene jumping on my shoulder. It's not necessary, but thanks for the help I said normally, and he gave him a thumbs up. An echo says the redeed seriously and the white-haired girl starts to hit me. Ichmeru I said and the aforementioned man's eyes shine, and he launches himself at the white-haired girl named Kaneko who is surprised. Due to Chmeru with his kodachi, makes thousands of cuts on Kaneko's body who falls to the ground unable to move. Due to Chmeru returns to my shoulder sheathing his kodachi. The mouse is still up says Drake laughing along with my sempace. Sauna Shitori creates a water snake and throws it at me. Due when I was going to get rid of the attack, Tichmeru creates a shield that stops the snake. Tichmeru got excited says Elsha. Do you want to continue? I said normally. DCH. Disappear the redeed shouts angrily, launching a red power that I easily stop with my hands. H how she says surprised and the rest was the same. You lack power I said normally, and created a mini dragon shoot without materializing the boosted gear, and threw it at him. Behind me shouts the black haired girl with Najanata creating a mirror. It grows. My attack grows at the last second, surpassing the mirror and creating an explosion. When the explosion ended, only Asia was left, who was surprised how everyone was lying on the ground. Hour of destruction, water magic, four sacred gear. They have the resources to be strong, but they are a band of useless. You, when they wake up, tell them not to bother me I told the blonde while I took out the barrier and returned home. You know they will continue to bother you, I know. Chapter 3, Chap begins. Pavrias, but power, I thought remembering how Haidu is say defeated us all easily. No doubt he is human. But he doesn't use magical power, what is that power? 
yesterday Asia, a new member of my peerage, informed me that the boy who killed the leader of the fallen was in the same class as her, and his name was Haidu Issei. I informed Sona and both of us, along with our peerages, went to see Haidu Issei's intentions. He refused to come with us and we followed him to a park in Kuo. I thought it would be a threat for him to be around in our territory, and I decided to attack him. Noah won in two minutes and only attacked when we attacked. Maybe he can help me. Asia I said calling my bishop. Yes. She says curious. I want you to call Haidu Issei I told her, and she made a doubtful expression. I don't think it's a good idea. He already said that he didn't want to have anything to do with us, she says timidly. Please I said again and she nodded doubtfully. I can't waste any more time. I hope he helps me. And poverty is. Start Pav Issei. How boring is school? It's break time, I'm lying on a mini mountain next to the tennis courts. Why don't you leave her? You already know everything they teach here Drake tells me. My mom wants me to come here. Leave it, it's good that it relates to the school environment, says Elsha. Then Mr. Issei she listened and raising my head a little I see. Someone's underwear. I can see your underwear I said, and she screams while she covers herself, seeing who my peace of mind as she goes to hell. Manners Elsha says seriously. What do you want? I said returning to my comfort. Miss Rias requests her presence at the club she says nervously. I'm not interested I said directly. It's just for talking says Asia again. I'm still not interested I said again, and she remained silent. I do a say said I heard another voice, and when I looked I saw that it was Sona Citri. What? I said normally. Would you accompany me to the council? Says Sona seriously. No I said normally. You should consider the offer says the retreat arriving. Don't you have anything better to do? I said sighing. I need your help says the retreat. I don't want to help you I said normally. Please, she says, lowering her head. I'm not going to change my mind, I said seriously as I returned to the living room. I don't want to mess with the demons. I've had enough with those old men. A few days later, did you hear? The occult club is no longer at school I heard some kids say in the classroom. Peace and tranquility. You've been very quiet lately Drake says curiously. There is nothing to upset me. The recess bell rings, I leave class and go to the mini mountain. This is better. Nobody bothers me, I can concentrate on my training and spend time with my parents. I do say sand I heard Sona's voice. And there went my peace of mind. What? I said without looking. Rias will no longer be in the territory says Sona, but I notice sadness in her voice. Better for me I said calmly. She will get married, and now she and her nobility will be hex toys for another demon, says Sona again. It's not my problem I said normally. Don't you feel guilty for knowing this? She says curiously. Nope I said calmly. You could have helped she says again. Listen. She is in this situation because of her lack of power. She could have freed herself by force, I don't feel sorry for her situation at all I said seriously, and she remained silent. She. She never had a chance to choose. Yes, she is spoiled and proud, but she is my friend and I feel bad for her she says sadly. That to the point I said directly. The day will be her engagement. If you help her. I will never bother you again, and I will tell Rias to stop bothering you she says, lowering her head. Help her, don't be so bad says Elsha. This is the second time that a demon lowers its head before you, that doesn't happen every day. Why do these things happen to me? Who knows they say together. Do you swear? I said seriously. Yes. If I fail. I will do whatever you want she says seriously. Take advantage to stop being a virgin says Drake. Tempting. But nope, I will. You better comply I said seriously and she nods. Use this magic circle to go to the place. It's at 10.30 pm, says Sona, giving me a paper with a magic circle. I'll have to modify it to be able to use it. And what do I do? I just go and take her. I said curious. I leave it to your choice. Just keep her away from that man, says Sona. It's okay, I said sighing. I appreciate it, she says, bowing. CC. I'm leaving, I said going back to class. Finally something to do. Didn't you want to be calm? I think you're becoming bipolar. All can be. Night. Underworld. Let's review. You come in, hit the boyfriend, take the retreat and leave says Drake. That's how it is, it's the worst plan so far says Elsha. I'm on the roof of the building where the wedding will be, planning what I'll do when I enter. What if that doesn't work? Kidnapping the retreat and that's it, excellent plan, obviously, they have no remedy she says sighing. A few moments later, this has already started, I jump to the entrance and enter without being detected by the guards. Why don't you want to be discovered if you're still going to attract attention? It's fun like that, I get to the room where everyone is and knock politely on the door. Then Pavise. Start Pavrias. I cannot do anything else. I'm standing next to a smiling Razor, and I'm dressed as a bride. A few days ago we had a confrontation with Razor and his nobility against us. The result was a total loss. I was very weak. I thought that having a strong nobility and with my natural power I could win. How naive I was. Don't worry Rias. 
I will treat you and your nobility well, we will have an incredible night, says Razor smiling. I think I'll commit suicide, we started the ceremony, says Razor's father. My father was going to say something, but he heard someone knock on the door. Ignore him. Let's continue, says Razor, but there is another knock on the door. They knock on the door. They keep knocking on the door. Someone open the damn door, says Razor angrily. The guard opens the door, and there you see a boy with brown hair, brown eyes, wearing black pants, a red jacket with green details, and black combat boots. What he does here? Who are you? Says the guard seriously. Issei ignores the guard and walks over here, takes out a paper and reads what is written there. Who is the boyfriend? Says Issei curious. What do you want from me? Says Razor angrily. He flies says Issei and sends him flying out of the castle with a punch. Step 1 ready. Now, step 2 he says walking towards me. Stop there says my father, standing in front of Issei, but he passes by him. Target assured says Issei and carries me like a bag of potatoes. We're leaving says Issei walking to the exit while I am carried. Wait a minute I heard my brother say, but Issei kept walking. Don't you hear me? Says my brother, confused. Hey stop. Lucifer Sama is talking to you I said hitting him on the back. Stay still do you see this? It's the plan, I just need to take you, and I can return home in peace, says Issei showing me the sheet from before. I was going to continue approaching, but a big fireball comes towards us. Be careful he shouted, closing his eyes, but he didn't feel anything. I open my eyes and see how a protective barrier stops the fire. Do you dare to interrupt my wedding and take my wife, Razor shouts furiously. Issei who was still walking stops and looks at Razor seriously. Don't bother. Or I'll kill you he says seriously, and Razor steps back trembling. I beat him with a look. We're leaving. I hope you're not in the way, Issei says calmly. Issei creates a magic circle and transports us both. The last thing I saw was my brother laughing. Student council, did we appear on the student council? There was Sona with Tsubaki and her nobility. That's it. Here's the package says Issei, pulling me onto the couch. I hope you comply says Issei leaving the room. What happened? I said, still surprised. Now I'll tell you. Says Sona sighing. And Pavrias. Start Pavise. I was walking home when the maid and the Ritid appeared in front of me. Am I going crazy seeing so many Ritids? I said into the air. They are strong. The reports did not lie. Obviously I wasn't lying, I was the one who got them, with her help. You had to mention her. And Rias. Says the Ritid. He leaves her with Sona and the others I said normally, and he nods. I want to thank you for the show you put on and free Rias, says the Ritid. I did it so they would stop bothering me, I said seriously. And I know the name of the boy who saved my sister. Says the Ritid again. I do Issei I said simply. So Issei Kun. My name is Serzich's Gremory, current Lucifer, my pleasure, she says, extending her hand. Am I supposed to shake hands with the devil? I said ironically. The haha good joke says Serzich's and I take his hand in a shake. It wasn't a joke. Or was it? Don't know. Well, I'm leaving I said walking back. It's okay. I hope to have your help in case something happens in the city, says Serzich is smiling. Only if the city is in danger. I don't care about Sona and your sister I said and left them there. Annoying demons. Chapter 4. Starts the chapter. Pavise. It had already been one month since I broke the Gremory engagement. The Phoenix must have been traumatized by seeing Drag. Haha. <laughs> it was all calm at this time. The Gremory and Citri did not bother me all this time, although the Redeed occasionally stares at me, but nothing more. Sometimes we find ourselves when a renegade appears but only that. Did you feel it? Drake tells me seriously. Yes. It was for a second. Someone strong entered the city. This is getting interesting he says amused. It was time. I was getting bored of not fighting for too long. Who understands you? One day you're asking for peace and the next you want something interesting to happen he says, sighing. It is what it is. Son I heard my mother calling me from the living room. Here I go I said leaving my room. I go down the stairs and go to the living room. There was my mother and two girls dressed in tunics, and one had a sword-shaped lump. If Tichmaru and his people did not act it means that they have no bad intentions. Look, Issei. It's Irina Chan, says my mother, pointing to a brunette with pigtails and violet eyes who smiles at me. Irina. Ah the girl who thought she was a boy. It's been a while Issei Kun, says Irina smiling. Yes. I spend a lot. Now you are more feminine I said calmly, and she blushes. You already knew it he <laughs> she says, laughing nervously. At first it was difficult, but then I realized that you were already gone, I said, sitting next to my mother. And who is your friend? I said looking at the blue-haired girl with green hair and golden eyes. This is Zenovia Corda says Arena and the aforementioned nods. Holy swords. They are from the church says Drag. I just came to say hello. It was nice to see you again, Issei Kun and Obasan, says Arena, standing up next to Zenovia. So fast. I said curious. We have things to do says Zenovia seriously. It's okay. 
thank you for the visit I said calmly, and they leave accompanied by my mother. A moment later, my mother returns and I get serious. How much she has grown. Before she was very masculine, says my mother, laughing. Mom. They also know about the supernatural I said seriously, and she was surprised. Ara. Will they be good? She says doubtfully. Ichkmer would have done something if they had bad intentions I said calmly, and she nods. I hope she doesn't do anything bad, she seems like a good girl, says my mother, sighing. Remember that even angels have evil I told her, and she nodded. And that phrase. I went out alone, I'll go train. Tichkmer will stay I told her, and she nodded. The next day, he let himself be carried away by her hatred. He was hiding watching as Kibuyudo faced Zenovia Korda in a sword duel. I could keep up with her or even win, but her hatred is stronger says Drag. Your sacred sword against my demonic sword Kiba shouts, creating a great sword. Moron. You don't have the strength to use it, having seen enough, I leave without them noticing. That same afternoon, it has to be a joke, I thought when I saw how Arena and Zenovia were begging for alms on a street. Help these innocent sheep says Arena. What are you doing? I said, approaching. The say Kun Arena says surprised. This idiot spent all our money on a stupid painting, says Zenovia angrily. I already told you that it is the painting of a saint, says Arena. He's just a painted old man says Zenovia. Lie is it? Saint Peter. Says Arena, not very sure, looking at the painting. I knew San Pedro and that's not him says Elsha. Because of you we ran out of money and we haven't eaten anything since yesterday, says Zenovia angrily, and her stomach makes noise. Ah come I said sighing and they accompanied me. Why do I feel like I would regret it? A moment later, thanks to Belzard who gave me that money. I thought as I saw how Arena and Zenovia ate non-stop. It's delicious as Zenovia, eating quickly. Eat slower, I said sighing. Thank you sir for sending a Seikun, says Arena praying. Don't call him. He won't come. I'm glad he's not that old man anymore. Although he asked me why he still doesn't revive with all the faith that the church gives him. It's better that he doesn't come back or if he comes back I'll force you to kick his butt. I don't think he can. It's true says Elsha. But confidence. The say senpai I heard and when I turned I saw the white-haired Gremory. If I'm not wrong, you were Kaneko I said normally and she nods. Do you know each other? Says Zenovia seriously. She's a classmate from school, I said normally. Are you with them? Kaneko says seriously. I know Arena. She was just feeding them because they ran out of money, I said, leaving the money on the table. It seems like they want to talk. I'll go, I have things to do, take better care of the money Arena I said getting up. Thank you very much Asei-kun says Arena smiling and Zenovia nods. Goodbye Kaneko-san, I hope that matter stays between us, I said whispering as I passed by her. I leave the restaurant and head home. That day at night, I was in my room meditating to continue increasing my dragonic power, which is gradually growing. I do this because I cannot use magic at full power, I also do it so as not to depend too much on drag, until everyone knows that I am the Sekar Yuite. For now I don't want the world to find out that the current Sekar Yuite is in this place, I have enough of those fools looking for me. Jutichmeru jumps onto my bed quickly. What's happening? I said curiously. He motions for me to follow him. Is it important? I said curiously and he nodded. Mom I'm going for a walk he shouted. It's okay take care of yourself and get a girlfriend I heard my mother scream. And hit that. You should get one of hers and stop complaining about her. No, it's better to continue like this. Together with Tichmeru I jump out the window and he begins to guide me. He ran for 10 minutes until he reached a forest that was surrounded by a barrier. It's pretty strong. I thought as I touched the barrier. Ju Tichmeru with his kadachi cuts the barrier and enters. I widen the entrance and enter a little. The first thing I saw when I entered was a fallen angel with ten wings holding Arena by the neck. Uh? A human says the fallen one, looking at me. A Seikun. Run Arena says weakly. It seems like I know you, says the fallen man, throwing Arena, but he manages to catch her. Oh you're fast says the fallen man, interested. The cadre. It must be Kakabiel, that appearance gives him away. Who are you? I ask to confirm. I am the fallen angel Kakabiel says the now Kakabiel. May I know what you're doing here? I said again. I plan to start a war and it will be in this place, he says smiling. Fine. Do what you want, but don't make too much fuss I said normally. Are you giving me permission? He says curiously. Yes, this city is where I live. Try not to attract too much attention, there are people who want to sleep I said walking to the exit of the barrier next to Tichmeru and an unconscious arena. It's a shame. I plan to destroy the city says Kakabiel, and I stand still. Now we have a problem I said putting arena down. And what can you do, human? He says confidently. This I said using my speed and I'm already next to him kicking his face. Ag Kakabiel spits blood from his mouth while he looks at me angry and surprised. Am insect he says, throwing spears of light at me, and I protect myself with a shield of power. After the rain of spears I see the Kakabiel was gone and the barrier was no longer there. 
I don't know if it was a strategic retreat or something cowardly. I said into the air. Jutich Maru signals to me, pointing at Arena. I almost forgot, I said, grabbing Arena and quickly taking her to my house. A few moments later, Ichmaru, put up a barrier around the house, don't lower it until she comes back I said, and he nods. Mom? You and dad don't go out for anything in the world I said, and they nod with concern. Take care my mother says worriedly and my dad nods. Don't worry. That crow is nothing to me I said smiling and left the house. Will you use my power? He says curious. No, it's not time yet. I can defeat him using my own strength and Belzard's weapon, alright. Don't hesitate to use my power, remember that we are a team, I know. I'm going to kick a fallen person. A few moments later, I followed Kakabiel's aura, and while he was looking for him I saw a large barrier at Kuo Academy. I went quickly and when I arrived, I saw Sona next to his nobility holding the barrier. But that level of barrier they will not be able to contain Kakabiel. I went to the other side of the barrier and made a hole so I could enter without being detected. Not only the four demon kings, but also God died in the last war was the first thing I heard when entering the barrier. The best kept secret by the biblical factions and this fool says it. He quickly jumped onto the roof of the academy and began to observe. You feel it? Yes. The target is here. He must have felt you too. He wouldn't be my rival if he hadn't done it. The blonde sword releases demonic and sacred power. Says Elsha. I pay attention to the demons that were fighting or trying to, and I could see the blonde grimmery sword. That's crazy, stupid Georg was right. I thought it would be fun to fight with you. I thought you would be strong as you are the sisters of Lucifer and Leviathan, but what a disappointment I was, says Kakabiel calmly. Band of useless people. They still live in a safety bubble because of Lucifer and Leviathan, it's normal for them to be like that. I hope this matter shows you the truth of this world. He was about to jump towards Kakabiel, but the barrier is destroyed and a white armor appears. It seems that there is no need for me to intervene. You what are you doing here? Says Kakabiel seriously. Azazel asked me to take you with him. The white man says calmly without looking at Kakabiel, he was watching me. We both stare at each other for a few moments, and then he looks away at the retreat. Now they could see how weak they are. They will die at any moment if they continue like this, says the white man calmly. Don't ignore me, Kakabiel shouts, throwing himself at the target. Weak, says the white man and shoots at Kakabiel. Bag Kakabiel screams when he is attacked by the white man and crashes him to the ground. They ask me to take you alive, says the white man as he grabs Kakabiel by the neck, hits him with his knee and leaves him unconscious. The large magic circle dissolves and the target begins to walk towards a body lying there. I finally find you, the time will come when we fight, says the white man, confusing the Gremory, Zenobia, Sona and their nobility who arrived a moment ago. Who do you say that to? Sona says cautiously. He just ignores them and starts flying carrying Kakabiel and a white-haired man. We will meet again, rival, he says, looking at me and shoots out in a beam of light. It will be entertaining, I thought as he walked home. Chapter 5 starts the chapter. Pavise. A day passes between Kakabiel trying to start a war and my encounter with Hacker Yuaku. Now I am in the guest room of my house looking at an already cured Arena who is waking up. Ugh. Where am I? Says Arena sitting on the bed. At my house I said sitting next to the bed in a chair. Ah say kun She says yawning and then stares at me. say kun she shouts in alarm. Don't shout. It's too early for you to make noise I told her, and she calmed down. What happened yesterday? She says confused. You had too many drinks and ended up unconscious on the street I told him to see if he would fall. That's impossible I remember well, I was with Zenovia fighting against Kakabiel and Freed, they defeated me and Zenovia left, then you appear, and now I'm here she says quickly. What did you smoke? I said, still trying to divert the topic. Don't change the subject who or what are you? She says seriously. That's cruel. I must say I told him normally. How did you escape from Kakabiel? She asks seriously. Would you believe me if I told you that she let me go? I told her and she became more serious. How boring. I kicked him, he got angry, attacked me, I defended myself and ran away I said normally. What happened to him? She says again. They took him, I don't know where, now you can go I told him leaving the room. Wait Arena shouts, but I already closed the door. How annoying. Still just as nosy as before. I went to the living room and there were my parents and Tichmaru. Has he woken up yet? Says my curious mother. Yes I said simply. She was going to tell me something but someone knocks on the door. Who's bothering now? I go to the door and when I open it there is the Redeed, the Gremory Queen, Zenovia, Sona and the black-haired Najanata. I'm not here I said closing the door. Who was a say? Says my curious mother. People who had nothing to do and that's why they bother others I told him and the door was knocked again. They won't leave until you open says Drake. I know. I opened the door and they were still there. What do you want? I said seriously. Are you the hacker Yuaku? Says the Redeed directly. And what's that about? I said confused. 
Yesterday the hacker Yuaku took Kakabiel, and we thought it was you says Sona. I am not the hacker Yuaku. I am a simple powerful human I said normally. You completely fooled me says Zenovia. They didn't ask I said unconcerned. He has demonic aura. Do you know where Shidu Arena is? Sona asks. Iriam says Arena getting down. Are you okay? I asked him. You don't need to worry a say kun. I'm fine says Arena blushing. I don't worry about you. Now you can go, I said, pushing her out of the house and closing the door. You're bad as say kun I heard Arena's voice. You have no idea. I little as say is popular with the girls I heard the former carriers shout. Crazy, we support you say the former bears. They're all crazy says Drag, sighing. You are crazier we all said together. The next day, I was walking to the academy when I saw a boy my age, platinum white hair, blue eyes and dressed like the typical bad boy. We stare for a while, his eyes are shining, and maybe mine are too. Calm down Dryag, now is not the time, it's the tradition, Bali he says when I pass by him. The say I said and entered the academy. They are both the same age, it seems that this generation is interesting says Elsha. I hope so, I continued on my way and went to class. After class, at the CIO, wasn't they going to stop bothering me? I said seriously well I had the redeed and his nobility in front of me. Hey Hacker Yuaku I heard and when I turned I saw Zenovia in the cool uniform. I'm not Hacker Yuaku I said sighing. We don't know that yet, says the retied sitting at the desk. The is not another voice was heard, and Serzich's emerged from a magic circle along with the silver-haired maid. Ani Sama says the retied and all the demons except Zenovia, Asia and I kneel. To the point I said boredly. Nice to see you again. Issei Kun says Serzich is smiling. CC. Why did they call me? I said without wanting to talk. I just wanted to let you know that in one week there will be a meeting of biblical factions says Serzich's, and everyone is surprised. And why are you telling me? I said curiously. I wanted to invite you to the meeting, he says normally. I'm not going. I'm already hanging out with you a lot, I said walking to the exit. I know you'll go, says Serzich's smiling. I doubt it, I said leaving. Will you be angry? Says Drake curious. I'm dying to go but I don't want to seem anxious, I feared. Tomorrow are open classes. Then Pavise. Start with Vali. You look excited, I heard Azazel say. I found it, I said, smiling with emotion, and he was surprised. Here? He says curiously. Yes, I already looked up information about him. Hi do you say, common human, common life, common descent. Just a high school boy I said smiling. Or that's what everyone believes, he managed to go unnoticed says Albion. That's how it is. Are you sure it's him? He doesn't sound like a powerful warrior, says Azazel. He's the one I said smiling. How do you know? He says curiously. When I approached him, Albion's thirst for fight almost got me out of control, and he was the same I said excitedly. It will be exciting says Albion. Of course, the next day, that's my son I heard my mother say while well, my father recorded the class. He was in English class. The strange thing is that we are working with clay to make shapes with our imagination. I let my imagination go and made a girl who was smiling. You must already overcome it, otherwise you will not be able to advance. I didn't answer her, I just stayed watching her representation. After class, he was looking for my parents to go home when I found them with Rhea's father. Dad. Mom, what are you doing? I said, drawing attention and the retied stared at me seriously. Oh Issei. We were talking about you and Ziotica Sen's daughter my father says smiling. Your parents told me a lot about you, young Issei, the now Ziodicus tells me. Yes, I'm very famous, shall we go? I said normally. We invited Mr. Ziodicus and his daughter home, says my dad, smiling. And that. I said, analyzing my parents in case there was mental control but nothing. Although it may seem incredible. Ziodicus N is one of the investors in the company where he works, and he wants to talk to me about a new project, says my father. The devil's luck. Literally says Elsha. Dad. Says a new voice and when I turn I see the redeed and her brother with a maid. You're on time, Rias. We'll go to these good gentlemen's house, says Ziodicus, and the redeed gets nervous. Ah how lucky I am, I do house, look how my right hand works, says Erzichas happily. Swallow me dirt, says the redeed in front of me. Since when is your father an investor in my father's office job? I said with a poker face. I don't know, says the retied, resting her head on the table. Behave, Miss Rias, says the silver-haired maid next to Rias. Have they never told you that you are very serious? I said curiously and she glared at me. How hard, I said, sighing. Just as serious as his stupid brother. Isn't she? She's like that almost all the time, and she doesn't let me do almost anything, says Erzichas. The power of a wife and mother is terrifying, I said understandingly. Tell me. Why did you help right Tan? Says Serzich is curious. Sona asked me for it, and what she gave me in return is what she wanted the most, and so far she has fulfilled it, I said normally. And that's it. Says Ziodicus curious. Don't bother me I said directly. 
is say is very reserved. That's how he never found a girlfriend, says my father, sighing. What a habit of getting into my not-so-loving life. Or girlfriend says my mother and Zioticus looks at me curious. Do they know? Says Zioticus. That you are demons. I said calmly and they were surprised. Are they demons? Says my mother surprised. Yes, the red deed in the middle is the current Lucifer I said normally. Incredible we have the demon king at home, dear says my mother excitedly. Wouldn't that be bad luck? Says my father, confused. What does it matter it's incredible that a celebrity is in our house besides his say my mother says, but she quickly covers her mouth. She just stared at me with a poker face. So you're a celebrity? Says Serzichas curiously. That's how it is for them, I said, sighing. After that they continued talking calmly, I talked a little with the now redeed Ataku. You almost got me discovered I said with a poker face to my mother. I'm sorry. She was excited, says my mother sadly. The gremory left a while ago and now I'm scolding my mother. I can fool the redeed and the others, but not Lucifer and his father, I said, sighing. Putting that aside, I saw you talking very animatedly with Ryasan, says my mother amusingly. It's nothing like you're imagining, just hang out, I said normally. Whatever you say says my mother, smiling. Time skip, the night is the meeting of the three major factions. I was thinking about whether to go or not. On the one hand I'm interested and on the other I'm too lazy to go and receive all those looks. I advise you to go. It could be that the target is there and if he is there, so are you says Drake. Have your pride hit you? That meeting will bring recognition to all participants. I refuse to be less popular than white says Drake. Okay. I'll have to go, it's not that I want to go too. Whatever you say they all say together. Who Academy, I already told you that I am a guest I said normally, well soldiers from the three factions point their weapons or magic circles at me. These invited I heard a voice and when I turned I saw Sona. Understood say the demon soldiers and the fallen along with the angels retreat without saying anything. They told me you weren't interested, says Sona with his typical seriousness. Curiosity got the best of me I said normally. The meeting will be in the new room. In 10 minutes says Sona and I nod. I enter the school and go to the new classroom that Sona told me about. When I enter, I see Serzichas with his maid and a girl with pigtails. I was wondering when you would come says Serzichas smiling. Curiosity got the better of me, I said, shrugging my shoulders. I'm glad. You will be one of the witnesses, says Serzichas. I just came to observe. No getting involved in their things, I said, sitting in a corner of the room. Okay, says Serzichas smiling. You're the one who kidnapped Ria's Chan at his engagement, says the girl with pigtails in front of me. The opposite of the old exhibitionist. I really liked your entrance and exit says the girl with pigtails. I just stare at him. Oh I'm sorry. My name is Seraphal Leviathan, if you want, call me Levi Tan, says the now Seraphal. I do as say I said normally, and she nods. The other leaders are already here, says the silver-haired mate and Serzichas and Seraphal become serious. Four people enter through the door. The first to enter is a man of about 25 years old, blonde hair, green eyes, dressed like a priest with shoulder pads and tennis shoes, a smile of peace and tranquility. Next to the blonde was Irina. When she sees me, she is surprised and pouts. The third person is a man in his thirties, black hair, and his bangs are golden, violet eyes, he was wearing a wine-colored suit and smiling carefree. Seeing me, he smiles and continues on his way. That one knew me. And there is the reason. Behind him, Bali enters. When he sees me he smiles and goes behind the black-haired man. After a while, the redeed and her nobility enter along with Sona, who was also with her nobility. For those who don't know me, my name is Michael says the blonde with green eyes, smiling. My name is Azazel, says the black-haired man carefree. Let's start the meeting. As you know, the biblical god is dead, he was revealed by Kadre Kakabiel says Michael, starting the meeting. I keep thinking about why he doesn't revive like the other gods. Leave him dead, that's better. Serzichas asked the redeed and Sona to give their report on what happened to Kakabiel. In summary. Irina and Zenovia arrived, asking permission to search for the Excalibur in their territory. Kibayudo became an emo avenger. Irina added that I helped her with Kakabiel, and with that I gained everyone's attention. They talked about how Kakabiel was humiliating them until Vali arrived. Thank you Rhea says Serzichas and the aforementioned returns to her place next to Sona. What's your version Azazel? Says Michael. Kakabiel acted on his own, I put it in the report, what interests me now is how a human survived against Kakabiel without any injuries, says Azazel looking at me. Don't mess with me I said normally. Although I'm curious, we're onto something important, says Michael. You already know what happened, let's make peace once and for all, says Azazel, sighing. Very well. God is dead, I don't see the point in continuing this fight, says Michael. For our part we don't want to continue in this war either, says Serzichas and Seraphal nods. Let there be peace, says Azazel unconcerned. Zenovia. Did you have something to ask me? Says Michael. Yes. Why did they exile Asia? Says Zenovia. 
the system that God left does not work like it did when he was there. Together with my brothers we try to keep it running, but it is not perfect, we have to cover all the gaps, and Asia was one of them because of her influence with her sacred gear, he says Michael. She was exiled so that it does not affect the system. Zenobia says understanding. I'm very sorry about that, Asia Argento. I hope you can forgive me, says Michael repentantly. There is nothing to forgive, thanks to that I was able to get here, says Asia smiling. But now we have to ask the beings capable of moving the world with their power, says Azazel, smiling as he looks at me. I do not like this, Bali, like Hacker Yuku, what do you prefer? Peace War asks Azazel. As long as he can fight with strong people, Bali says with a shrug. But Peace War, there are strong people, says Azazel and Bali smiles. Now. Azazel looks at me, but everyone, except the leaders, Kiba, Zenovia, Irina, Bali and I remain standing. Saved, it seems they have half a vampire, says Azazel looking out the window. Time. Has it stopped? So it seems says Drag. Serzich's Sama. Permission to go get Gaspar Kun Kiba says to Serzich's. How would you go? It's impossible without them seeing you says Serzich's. I approach the window and see that there are magicians killing the soldiers who were standing. Those uniforms. And why can you move? Zenovia tells me. I was wondering the same thing says Azazel smiling. Ahaha I laugh nervously, but an explosion saved me. After the explosion you can see a barrier that protects those who were standing, and in the middle of the room, there is a brown woman with very revealing clothes. Saved again, you're lucky. Says Drake sighing. Hello false demons says the woman smiling. The Terry Leviathan says Serzich's seriously. Hearing that name, I hide behind the desk. DCH. This old lady had to appear, it's been a while. I've come to claim my inheritance and kill you, he says confidently. The Terry Chan why are you doing this says Seraphal. Seraphal. Don't talk to me like that, you're the one who took my place, that's why I'll kill you, says Kateria seriously. Now die says Kateria, creating a big explosion. The smoke from the explosion clears and the barrier protecting everyone can be seen again. The barrier created by the three powers says Kateria smiling. If it doesn't bother them, I'll go against her says Azazel, spreading his wings and flying to Kateria's level. Kateria. Are you sure about this? Serzich's ask seriously. You're a good leader. But not the best says Kateria. It's your decision. You can do it Azazel says Serzich's seriously. Okay I'm leaving, taking advantage of the fact that Azazel and Kateria began to fight, he began to walk slowly to the window to escape. I say come listen. Caught. What? I said turning around and seeing Serzich's. Can you help Kiba Kun get to where Gaspar Kun is? He says calmly. I refuse I said with a poker face. I will pay you for your work says Serzich's. Come on, pretty boy, I said, jumping out the window followed by Kiba. As long as that old woman doesn't discover me, everything will be fine. I ran next to the blonde, along the way there were magicians who tried to kill us, but the blonde eliminated them all. We arrived at the CIO and the door was sealed. The blonde was going to look for another entrance, but he didn't want to waste time and destroyed the door with a kick. First the blondes I said and he enters quickly. Hage. I followed him until I reached a room where there was a group of magicians and there was Kaneko tied upside down and a blonde lowly. No. That's not a girl. Hey, what's that? I said curiously, pointing at the lowly. It's Gasper, but you's bishop and he's a boy, Kiba says seriously. Away with impure thoughts. Why you what are you doing here a nervous magician tells me. Rescuing the white-haired girl and the boy I said seriously as I take a step and the magician who recognized me backs away scared. He don't come close if you do, I will kill them, says the magician pointing a knife at Kaneko. I don't have time, you won't die if you give up I said seriously, and she trembles, throws the knife and kneels. What are you waiting for? It's the only chance we have to stay alive says the magician quickly, and the rest of the magicians also kneel. What are you waiting for? Take them out I told the blonde who was surprised, he quickly goes and frees them. Long I said to the magicians and they quickly moved away. Why did you let them go? Kiba says seriously. They were just pawns, the leader is Kateria I said walking to the exit. You should have killed them, now they will know you are here Elsha says seriously. They are from the faction that she belonged to. That over it, she's already dead. I just clenched my fists and continued on my way to where the others were. Chapter 6, Chap Begins. Pav Azizel. I was fighting Kateria Leviathan a while ago. Stop, I'll have to use it says Kateria, taking out a jar containing a purple snake. Kateria takes the snake and her power rises exponentially. Wow. That's interesting. Now it's my turn I said smiling while taking out the artificial sacred gear. At ready. Balance breaker I said and a golden light covers me and then transforms into armor. This is my artificial sacred gear, down full dragon spear I said, creating a trident of light. Did your research reach this point says Kateria, surprised. Now. I said, launching myself towards her and hitting her in the stomach. Agdam Kateria shouts, launching tentacles that she cuts with the trident. 
If I can't with you. I'll take you with me Kateria says, and her arms become longer and take my left arm. A self-destruction. It won't work on me, I said, cutting my left arm. Eh? Kateria is surprised, I throw the trident at her, and it passes through her and turns into particles of light. My armor falls apart and a purple gem falls out. You need improvements. You will continue to accompany me, Dragon King Fafner I said putting the gem away. I was going to go with the others, but I receive an attack on my back that crashes me to the ground. Ah so that's how things are. Volley I said getting up looking at the mansion. This side is more fun says Volley amusingly. I guess you're talking about the Chaos Brigade. I said coming out of the crater. They offered me to fight against the gods of the north. I know you don't want to fight them, she says calmly. I'm not a fan of battles, I prefer to investigate things I said, shrugging my shoulders. I was expecting you to say that says Volley calmly. Is this because you want to claim your place? I said interested. It's not that. I'm only interested in fighting strong people, she says calmly. Your place? Says Serzich's curiously. My name is Volley Lucifer, says Volley showing his ten demon wings. But Serzich's and Seraphal shout. Odd. Says Michael, also surprised. Ani Sama says Rhea's already mobile. Looks like they did it, but you shouts the half vampire running towards Rhea's. What did I miss? Says Issei. I do Issei says Volley, drawing attention. What? Says Issei curious. Don't you think it's time for you to stop hiding? Volley says and Issei stares at Volley. I don't know what you're talking about, Issei says, denying. I know you are eager to fight, to feel the adrenaline of combat. I saw it in your eyes the other day, you are not a normal high school human who knows about the supernatural, you are a warrior waiting for a good battle, says Volley. Issei stares at Volley as his eyes begin to glow green. I am the strongest hacker Yuaku of all the generation so far. The blood of the original demon runs in me, I have the sacred gear for my mixed blood, but that does not matter, it only matters to be strong, and you are says Volley, pointing to Issei who kept looking at him. When I saw your information I thought you would be completely useless. A human who goes to high school, without powerful blood. Just someone normal, but I remembered the look from the other day, and I threw away all those thoughts, Volley says in a funny and excited tone. Come hi to Issei. Come with everything says Volley again. Ha. Hey. It doesn't matter anymore says Issei advancing. I haven't gone all out in a long time. And what better than my opposite to do it, says Issei smiling. A red aura covers Issei, and he jumps into the sky at Bali's level. Yulsh dragon balance break here, lead red armor with green gems and large wings is present, along with an aura on par with Vali. It is a perfect balance breaker, and without a countdown to activate it, I'm sure he's human, how much strength does the armor have to withstand? The haha I knew it, says Vali excitedly. The Sekar Uatari is says surprised and the others were the same. I knew he was hiding something, but I didn't believe it was this, says Serzich is equally surprised. It's been a while. Drag says Albion from Volley's wings. Likewise. Albion says Drag from Issei's left glove. Oh surpass the aura of all past celestials. I understand it from Volley, but from Haidu Issei who is human. This generation never ceases to amaze me. Volley's aura lights up white, and he launches himself at Issei who does the same with his red aura. They both crash and start hitting each other at an incredible speed. The area shook every time those two hit each other. They were both just red and white blurs. There were no words, only blows. His aura exceeds the normal limits of the previous wielders, says Michael seriously. Will they be the strongest carriers? Says Seraphol curiously. That of IDE. It was heard and Issei's aura reduced a little, and Volley's increased. Abist. It was heard again and Issei's aura returned to match Volley's. This already looks like a fight between Drag and Albion. They both destroyed their armor, but repaired it immediately. The haha this is incredible I'll get more serious Volley shouts excitedly, taking distance from Issei. I have to mention, it is heard from Volley's wings, and the area begins to shrink. Matter is reduced. This is dangerous as Michael, creating a stronger barrier with the help of Serzich's. The matter? It has no logic says Sona surprised. Don't look for logic, they don't follow it I said amusingly. My turn says Issei. Ankris dimension. Issei's gems were heard, and the reduced matter began to grow and shrink with every second. What I said surprised and everyone was the same. Can that technique counteract mine? Volley says surprised. That's right. It seemed to me that I needed a countermeasure for your ability, and this ability was born that allows me to stop yours, says Issei. If they continue like this, the area. No, the entire dimension will be unstable. Ahaha you gave him another point to call us opposites, says Volley. You reduce and I increase. It seemed fair to me, says Issei. But increase matter to stop our reduction. Your wear is crazy dryag, says Albion. Maybe, but it's more fun that way says Drag. The dimension will not hold. Volley says, stopping his ability and Issei does the same. The matter that was reducing and increasing falls apart. The entire academy and the trees fell because of the skills of those two. The academy. 
says Sona looking at the rubble of the academy. Shall we go to the next level? Says Bali. It wouldn't be convenient, we will destroy the entire city, and I don't want to do it, says Issei seriously. Are you talking about Juggernaut Drive? Can Haidu Issei control it too? And if so, how much can it last? What a shame, says Bali, coming out of the balance breaker and only remaining with his wings, and he was seen bleeding from his head and mouth. Issei does the same and was the same as Bali. It was a good fight, says Issei landing. I say the same thing. For now I will leave, I will continue to get stronger. I hope you are not left behind, says Bali, retreating in a magic circle. Likewise, says Issei as he lands and begins to walk towards the exit. Bali was gone, the academy was destroyed and Issei was walking away. Where do you think you're going, hi do Issei. Sona says seriously. The my house, says Issei as he continued walking. You won't leave until you repair the academy, says Sona angrily. It is your and the Redeed's duty to protect the academy, not mine, I expect payment surcharges, says Issei and leaves. Sona stood angry with her entourage. Brad and White always destroy everything around them, but they never fix it, I said smiling and she glared at me. I think it was the Sekar Yuate. I thought it was the Hacker Yuaku, says Zenobia sighing. Issei Kun is incredible. But very destructive, says Shudu Arena. Tomorrow we will make the treaty, I will leave my soldiers repairing the academy, I said sighing. Is this okay? Says Serzichas. Yes. Let's make an agreement and sign peace I said in Serzichas, Michael and Sir Afal nod. Then Pav Azizel. Start Pav Vali. I appeared in a forest in the underworld. I was just about to go look for you says Bikku. Hey, what happened? The leaders hit you hard. Says Bikku, surprised to see me hurt. No. It was the Sekar Yuate. He is very strong. As expected of my rival I said smiling. Your crazy Naya says Kuroka lying on the floor. I'll have to double my training I said excitedly. I told you he's strong Arthur says calmly. Yes. I said smiling. Just wait hi do say, next time we'll go all out, start Pav say. I got home quickly and opened the door. Finally. I was worried says my mother, but I fall to the ground. say my mother shouts, helping me get up. Leave me in my room. I'll sleep a little I said, closing my eyes. I finally found someone who can push me to the limit, it was the last thing I thought before falling asleep. Chapter 7, starts the chapter. Pavise, you can use the juggernaut, but we don't know to what extent. That makes it more interesting, I have to find a way to completely control the juggernaut or find another way. It was the day after my fight against Vali. I had already woken up but I was still lying down, I didn't want to go to school because Sona scolded me for destroying the school. You can do it, we will support you Elsha tells me. I count on you, I decided to get up and go to the bathroom. I did everything necessary and went to the kitchen to eat something. Dad is working and mom I guess she went to the supermarket or with her friends. Tchmeru is not here either, what will you do now? What do you mean exactly? The world already knows who you are, before only some knew that you were active, now they will want to recruit you or destroy you, your parents will be in danger, I don't know. I'm not stupid, I know I won't be able to be with them all the time, and Tchmeru has limits. I don't know what to do and I'm not very well liked in some factions. All because of your luck to meet strong beings, do not mention it, and if you accept the advice of that Valkyrie. A senpai tells me. In Asgard they still don't hate you, you can make a deal with Odin, you help, and they give protection to you and your parents, I don't know. If I had a choice, it would be in Shinto, but I'm not very well liked after that. Not even with the Greeks. Not to mention the Egyptians. And I don't think Shiva will pay attention to me, so many messes in three years. It was funny seeing you run away from Amaterasu says Elsha. Don't remind me. That woman is crazy, I'm not going to enter her list of conquests, and she wanted to take me to her cave, I would think about it if she were a dragon. But let a goddess take me to a cave. There are problems there, and when you bit Helios and crushed his carriage. Who sends him to screw me when I train the juggernaut drive? It was really funny watching you bite your first god. This is what they call master pride. You forget that in all those situations I came out almost dead. In one, you almost don't even count it, if it weren't for that Valkyrie, you would be very dead, says a senpai. It's possible. These are minimal things. Burned right arm, fractures throughout my body, internal bleeding, coma for two months, and more things that I don't want to remember. But you are alive. Leaving my mental chatter, I head to the living room to watch some TV, and then I go to train. I was changing channels when someone knocked on the door. Let it not be the demons. I repeated that to myself as I walked to the door, I opened it and there she was. The redeed. We don't view charity, I said, closing the door. The door is knocked again, sighing, I open the door and see the redeed pouting. You always do the same thing she says angrily. I always say don't bother me, but they keep doing it I said with a poker face. But I don't do it on purpose, she says again. What do you want? I said leaning on the doorframe. I wanted to let you know that the peace treaty is done, and Azazel will be the new history teacher she says seriously. And? I said knowing there was something else. 
This is the payment for helping my servants, although it is half of what was agreed for having destroyed the school, she tells me, giving me a briefcase. If they could fix it with magic. I said, taking the briefcase and looking at the contents. Sona is angry with you, she says calmly. For all I care, I said, closing the briefcase. Now? I would like to ask you a favor she tells me a little shy. I refuse I said directly. At least listen she says angrily. It depends on what that favor is, I said, sighing. Do you think you can help me with my training? She tells me timidly. Why don't you ask your brother? I'm sure he would leave his position to train you I said normally. I don't want him to get involved, I'm just asking you for advice and a little help, please, she says, lowering her head. I was going to refuse, but someone approaches. Ara, Ria-san the one who arrived was my mother who was carrying some bags. Good morning Yumi-san says the Retied, greeting. Let me help you, I said as she put down the briefcase and took the bag she was carrying. Due to Chikmaru who was on my mother's shoulder, jumps to mine. Come, let's go inside says my mother, taking the Retied's hand, and they both go into the house. Yes, come in and leave me with things I said with a poker face. Sighing, I entered the house with the bags and briefcase. And what do you need here Ria-san? I heard my mother say from the living room. I came to tell Issei sent some things says the Retied. Is it something from school or from the other world? Says my curious mother. From the other world. Says the Retied. It's a shame he can't help with that, my son does everything alone, I told him to get friends so he won't be alone, I hear my mother say. It's hard to get friends being the Sekiruite. It is what it is, I put away all the things my mother brought and went to the room where they were. And how are your injuries? My mother told me when I sat down on the couch. Are you asking me after you came in and ignored me? I said with a poker face. I was excited to have another young woman at home, says my mother calmly. So, what do you say is say, do you agree to help me? The Redeed tells me. I was going to refuse, but my mother interrupts me. He will help says my mother simply. Mom I said reproachfully, but she looked at me seriously. You have to help her, it doesn't matter if she's a demon my mother says seriously, and I sighed. Okay I said to the Redeed who nods excitedly. Why are you excited about this? I thank you very much, she says, bowing. Tomorrow we will have a fight to see where you are at I said sighing and she nodded. Bad mother who forces her son to do these things. The next day, forests on the outskirts of Kuo. And who called you? I said curiously, looking at the red-haired queen. I won't leave my friend and Ray with a stranger like you, she tells me seriously. Out of my mother's obligation, I will help the Riti to become stronger. I told her that we would meet in the forest where she trained to do a practice match, so I see how I can help her. I asked Tchmeru to take care of my parents while I'm away. I keep saying that she seems familiar to me. What's your name? I said curiously to the black-haired girl. Imajima Akeno she says simply. Ah that's why she seems familiar to me. She's just like Susaku. Well, let's see that you have red hair I said, taking a little distance. Am I going with everything? Says the curious Redeed. Yes, otherwise I won't know your limit I said calmly, the boosted gear appeared and a BM staff came out of it. I didn't know you used weapons, the Redeed tells me, increasing her aura. Originally it was another option to not use the boosted gear, now I will only use it when it is not necessary to use my sacred gear I said, turning the BM. Here I come she shouts, starting her attack. Here we go. Well. I was expecting a little more I said calmly, looking at the Redeed who was lying on the floor breathing heavily. You are. Very strong she says sitting down. Are you okay? Says the black haired girl, approaching the Redeed with a bottle of water. It only relies on her talent, resistance of an average demon, large magical reserves, but her body cannot exploit all that power. All demons are like this, obviously there are exceptions, but most are like this. I will have to train her resistance and control, also in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I would recommend that you use weapons, but with enough control, you can create your own weapons with her power. That's right, you can shape it if you concentrate, I will adapt your melee with her power, and thus it will do more damage. It will be worth training her, so you can show off that you trained a super powerful demon. Could be. Redeed I said, drawing her attention. My name is Rhea she says pouting, but I completely ignore her. I already know what your faults are, tomorrow we will start your training, it will not be easy, and I will not be soft, I hope you put 100% or more into the training I said seriously, and she nods. I'm in your care, she says, bowing her head. I hope it's interesting. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like and share this video. And have a fantastic day bye.